Hi Kirby fans, so today I'm going to be showing you how to change that neutral drive bracket lever. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. Hi Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. Again those you're new to the channel, if you haven't already and you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate slapping that subscribe button, dinging that bell for notifications, give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. What we're going to do today is I'm going to be showing you how to fit that bracket lever on the tech driver neutral inside your Kirby vacuum. Now what I've got is I've got a G7 and the actual lever is broken. So what we'll do is we'll zoom in and see how to do it. So what we'll do is we'll get ready to do it. Right, so what we're going to be changing today is one of these counter levers. Now in this G7, it's actually snapped off here. I don't know how they broke it, but it is actually snapped. So what we'll do, I'll quickly show you how to take it apart, how to change it, and I will put a link in the description of where you can actually get these from. Uh, they're not that expensive, I think I paid about $5, if that, it wasn't a lot of money. Um, but yeah, I'll put a link in the description of where you can actually get these from, so make sure you check that out. So this would literally take about five, 10 minutes max. So you can undo that little screw first, like so. You don't need to take your power lead out, so then we just, Undo the back here, so you need a Torx 20. Undo that. Get screwdrivers push in there, and that will release. Lift that up, and your lead will drop to one side. So we just push that lead over there out of the way. Okay, so I'm just going to do these. Now, if you haven't took one apart before, like I've said in my previous videos, make sure you just put your screws in order as you take them out or grab a bit of cardboard, slot them in like that. But when you've took them apart as many times as me, you actually know where all the screws go. That's that, so if you do the G7 like me, the Ultimate G, just make sure when you lift it up, this, you just slide it out the way. So that should, Lift up out of the way. There we go. So as you lift it up, okay, just slide that over there and that will pop out. Okay, but that's one side. Now what we're gonna do is gonna flip it over and we're just gonna undo the tech drive. So first up what we're gonna do is release your switch. Like so that off okay and we'll flip it over so what I'll do is I'll take the head off first just to make it that little bit lighter and then we're going to flip this over okay we're going to do these three this is literally a five minute job one two three now because this is snapped, this is actually permanently stuck in drive. So if your Kirby is permanently stuck in drive, that might be another reason why. Um, it's the first one I've ever seen snapped. There you go. So if it's stuck and it won't come out, you literally pull the lever back and it'll slide into drive. Okay, drop that out. And you'll see when I take it out what I mean by they've actually snapped it. Now I don't know if they took it apart before, But this was what it was brought in for. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Okay, take that out. I'm gonna spin that. Okay. So the more we've got it apart, we might we'll tap this down and put some seal around there as well, stop that coming out. But you can see what they've actually broke. I don't know how they've broke it. But if you can see the difference, you can see one's broke and one's not. So we're going to put the new one in and we're going to put a little bit of grease in there. So what I'll do is I'll tap this down, get this sealed again, and I'll put some hot glue around there like I normally do. And then we'll get this back together. Right, so we're back. So I'll put an card above for this video on how I repaired this, if you haven't seen that one. 
Um, but all you're going to need for this repair is a bit of grease. So what we'll do is slot this on first. So you grab your new one. Again, like I said, I will put a link in the description of where to get these from. Slot that on there. That slots over there. And that works like so. So what we'll do, we'll take that back off again. We're just going to put a little bit of grease just on here to help that slide in and out. Okay, now less is more. You don't need loads. So we're literally going to go a bit on there and a bit on the bottom. And that's it. And that will slide in and out like that. You don't need any grease on here. Put grease on there, you're going to cause issues. So now we we'll literally grab this, slot that in there, slot that over there, and we'll put the lid back on here. And then we'll slot this back in there. Like so. Line that up, grab our little screw, so it's the one with the washer, just goes in there. and then tighten that up. Now, we then look, this now should, there we go, job done. So it's literally a five minute job. So what we'll do now is just get the Kirby back together. So again, make sure it's in drive before you try and slot your tech drive back in. Put that to one side, that's gonna go in a bin. Okay, so what I do, I'll put my belt over there first and then lift this lever up out of the way and make sure it's in drive and you're going to slide that up into situ, into place. When you line it up, just make sure the little fork here goes in your tech drive adjustment there. So line that up. So what I do is get my belt on first. So lift your belt over there and over that drive wheel there and then make sure that, that lines up where it should. There you go, that's in. Belt's on. That's fine. Okay, so we flip this over. So you can put it in neutral if you want. Flip it over. Make sure this is lined up. And you've just got three little screws. One, two, three. drill and just tighten those up. So again go slow first to make sure they're not threaded and then tighten it up. And flip this over. Okay and then that. Yeah it's working fine. That lever up, get our switch back on, that's it, then we want our lid, so again take those two screws out the back, now if you've got the ultimate G again you've got to slide this in first so lift that up Slide that in there and then slide that down. Okay, put two back screws in. One, two. Before you tighten them, go slowly first so you know they're not threading. That's one. Again, go slowly first. Yep. Two. And we've got our front screws. So I'll pop this on anyway. No, I won't. I'll do the front screws first. So those are the two little counter sort ones. Okay. Again, just tighten them by hand first. So you make sure they're not threading. Okay. And then go at it either by hand or with the gun. So slow first just to make sure it's not threading. Okay, let me put our scuff plate back on. 
So put your top part of your scuff plate in, like so. Get your cable, put your cable in there, so it slots in, and then push your scuff plate in. Got two screws, we've got one that goes in the black. Like so. And then our little one that holds the cable. And tighten that down. Like so. There we go. And that is one fixed tech drive. Right, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was really informative. Again, I will put a link in the description of where to get one of these from if you need to. Again, I'd like to congratulate two of my subscribers, Joanna Chapman and Leanne Yates, on repairing their own tech drive. And they've never took curbs apart before and they've actually took them apart, avaliers, and actually repaired their own tech drive using my techniques. So again, well done, congratulations. Nice to see that everyone's benefiting out of this channel. We're literally under 200 subscribers away from that next question going up. Hopefully we hit 1,000 before the weekend and then it can go up on the weekend. Before I go, those of you new to the channel, if you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate slapping that subscribe button to support the channel. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is we'll cut to the bloopers and I'll catch you in the next one. Um, um, hopefully we'll hit to that, hopefully coming towards the weekend, then, then, um, so if you haven't already and you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate, slap that subscribe button, ding that bell for notifications, big thumbs up, and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video.